Hello folks, what do I have here? Oh my goodness, this is a huge fridge slash freezer from Set Power. This is a 69 quart. It can be a fridge, just a fridge, or just a freezer. So why don't we take a quick look-see? Wow, first thing right off the bat, this is almost twice as big as the the other one that I've got. Golly, I can fit a lot of pizza in here. <laughs> got a DC 12 volt or 24 volt. Let's take a look inside here. Oh my goodness, I already opened this box here a little. So don't you worry about that. It didn't come open. Got it. Okay. It's got DC power right there with the cigarette lighter and AC power. That is cool, and you would plug this in, plug this in to the AC if you wanted it. Um. Oh, look at that! We've got some, we've got some stickers here. <laughs> For people who came across this package, must be the happiest people in the world. Yeah, I'm certainly happy with the size. Look at that. Bunch of cool stickers there. I like that one. And in the tent. And the RV. All right, all right. That's kind of thoughtful. I can dig that. And then a manual, of course. So this can uh, be set for Fahrenheit or Celsius, whichever one you prefer. Me, I, I prefer Fahrenheit. Right off the bat, this is the basket for the uh, set power. And this is the one, my older one. Look at the capacity difference. <laughs> and I thought the one I had was big. <clears throat> I don't generally use the basket. Let me show you. Now, just to give you a size comparison here, Got a normal tombstone frozen pizza here. Look at this. <laughs> my other one with my other uh, freezer comes up to here almost touching the top and definitely this part hits this part. Um, this one, I can stack it the appropriate way all the way up. That is just, <clears throat> golly. I might be able to fit inside this. Oh, no. But the real test is how much power does it take and how quickly does it get to zero? Because I, I would be using it as a freezer. First, some ex exact dimensions here. It's 27 inches. Uh, this is the capacity inside, not that, not the outside. 27.1 inches by 18.9 inches by 19.6 inches this way uh, 69 quarts large capacity you can hold more than 89 cans it can cool from 0 to 50 which can keep vegetables fresh and meat frozen durable latch uh, reversible lid so that's good built-in handles Triple battery protection prevents power drain. That's cool. So it'll shut off depending on what setting you put it on. If you don't want to drain your car battery or whatever battery. But let's do the real test. The real test is getting it cold out here in the blazing sun. DC input is right here. And then plug it into my power station. All right, I've got power going to it. Turn it on, okay. It's already on Fahrenheit, which is nice. Let's get it to zero degrees. It's 73 degrees in there right now. Oh, I heard it kick on. It is using 34, 50, 24, 
50 watts. It's it's ranging. It's, it hasn't gone over 55 watts though. It's kind of going all over the place. I'm gonna set the timer on this and see how long it takes to get to zero degrees with nothing in it. Here we go. It's going. All right, folks, it just hit zero degrees at uh, one hour, 52 minutes. There you go. Now, to be fair, this was hot, real hot, and the top uh, from the sun almost the entire time. Uh, so I would take about half that time away if it wasn't sitting out in the sun. And uh, another thing that happened was once it got down to three degrees, it took a long time to go from three degrees to zero. Like probably 20 minutes of that. So I would take away even more. So, but let's see. Oh yeah, we've got ice right here. It is real cold. <laughs> That's definitely zero degrees. Next thing I gotta do is install it. I think I'm gonna replace my uh, my other freezer with this one because this one's bigger. Woo! So I installed this new one and transferred all the stuff over here. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> it looks empty, almost empty now. <laughs> it's just, that's just crazy. I had to make a lot of room. I had to move this table over. I've got chicken uh, breasts, a full bag here. Drumsticks, thing of ham, uh, bacon down there. That's five pizzas, five frozen pizzas right there. That's not, golly, I could fit a lot more in there. Probably doesn't even look as big on camera, but yeah, if you guys, look at this. It's got a light too. That's really cool. I like that. Look at that. That's the set power. 69 quart. And it's beefy. Real beefy. The top for this is insulated. So that's cool. And this is also reversible. If you guys want a low energy way to keep a whole bunch of food frozen, there you go. The vents on this side, that side, and on the other side and uh, it has plenty of clearance. You want to make sure that you have plenty of uh, clearance because that uh, compressor can get pretty hot. So, If you guys are interested in the set power, they've got different sizes. You don't have to get the, get the big monster one like I've got. But if you're interested in it, there's a link in the description below. Please check it out, and I'll give you an update in about a month of how it's gone. I think it might be a little quieter than the, the other fridge that I've got. I got to figure out where I'm going to install that. I could install this one in my vehicle now. I don't know. See you guys later. I'll see you guys in the next video. And thanks for watching. Please hit that thumbs up button.